Hey there, Stinky Kitty Game Dev here, and in this video I want to cover insertions, or assertions. So what they are, what can they be used for, and just really like where would you want to use them. So for this example, here I have my function here, set up part mesh, which gets called on begin play. And as you can see, I'm running an assertion on B found with tag. So basically, if this actor doesn't have a component that has a tag that I'm looking for, then we want to crash our editor with the crash reporter, and it's going to tell us exactly what happened with our message. So in this case, we're using check F. So we'll cover those here in a little bit. So let's just see that in action. So here I have my part and I gave it a different name. So FPS part one. So this is an invalid name, or let's say you had no tag. This would be the exact same thing. So when I hit play, we should have the crash reporter come up. As you can see, it's locked up. And here we have our crash reporter. So let's open that up and here you might be able to see it's a little small assertion failed be found with tag it tells us it's in the part based class on line 54 part based class line 54 and that bp hollow site has no valid component with tag fps part which is my message right here so that's what we want to trigger so what is the use case of this why would you want to crash the editor? Why would you want to halt execution of your, you know, your project? Why not just print out a log or something like that? Well, this is to guarantee, kind of guarantee that, let's say you have a game designer or something like that, and they're setting, or someone just setting up different parts, something along those lines. Well, let's say they forget to add this tag, which I've had people do, because this is for my FPS plugin, and what I've had people have issues with, like, why isn't this part working? Oftentimes, they either don't read the docs or they don't uh, watch any of the tutorial videos or anything like that, and they're just kind of a little confused. They forget to add this tag. So when that happens, what I want to happen is that it's a very obvious message that tells you that there is no component found with the tag for this actor. So that's kind of the goal of it. So if I give that the correct tag and I hit play now, You know, everything's good to go. We can play like normal. It doesn't crash, nothing. So that's kind of an example of where you would want to use this. So you want to double check or literally make sure that something is valid. And then if you, you know, it's not, you can tell them what the issue is. So coming down here, there's a couple different types. So we have the check, which is what I'm using. And you can kind of read an example of it. This will be linked in the description below, but Basically, I only want to use check in my case because I don't want this to really happen in the shipping build. So with here, you can say use checks in shipping to hold a true value. So we can make this false and it's not going to run this check when I package it for, or whenever the person packages it for shipping because, well, there's no point. It's not for a developer or anything like that. This is something developers should be catching. I don't want to have the person's game crash because of this issue or the player's game crash because of this issue. Next up is verify. So verify works in the very same manner or very similar manner to check. However, this can continue to run through shipping. Then we move down to ensure this has a different result. So we can go ahead and show you the result here. So all we have to do is change it to ensure F. Wait, what was it again? No, oh, ensure message F. And here we can see the result. So let's go ahead and run live coding. Alrighty, there we go. We'll just bring up the output log. I'll go ahead and clear it. I'll hit play. And everything went through. We scroll down. All right, so my guess is this did not fire because it's not the first time that it has happened. So I'm going to restart the editor and relaunch. And dumb me also forgot that I need to change the tag again so that it's something invalid. So anyways. Now let's hit play. We should have a little bit of a lockup, but it's not going to actually crash. And then if we give it a couple of seconds, you can even see in your log here, you know, it spams out a bunch of errors. But if we look through here, we can see a bunch of complaints. If we go to the very top, what do we see? Part BP hollow site has no valid component with tag FPS part. So as you can see, it's broken and it just the whole system for aiming with this site specifically does not work unless I go back to a 
different site. When I go back to this guy, it's all wonky wonky. <laughs> but you can see how this works and it tells you where it's at and all that kind of stuff. So that nice is nice and clean. Uh, if we hit play again, what happens is nothing. So as you can see here, the log is not here anymore, even though we still have the exact same issue because this is fired. So that, if you look through the uh, be behavior section here, notifies the crash reporter to the log on the first time the expression is false. So it's only gonna run once. If we want it to run every time, we just ensure always message F. So ensure, always and now it'll fire every single time so that's one way you can kind of go through it uh, the only reason i'm doing the crash uh one thing i've noticed about well when you deal with support all day uh, people sometimes don't look thoroughly they don't even have this output log open or anything like that uh, most of them using blueprints aren't going to have their ide open to really even see any of this information or anything like that. So what I want to happen is I want it to flat out crash. And when it crashes and I have them screenshot the message, I know exactly what is wrong, where the issue is, and I can tell them, hey, you know, assuming they don't figure it out by the blatant message, you need to add a component tag of X to part Y. Very simple. So now they run that, hit play, Game doesn't crash. Oh yeah, we're good to go. That was the issue. Thank you. And they move on developing the product. So that really kind of wraps up the majority here. I would recommend you skim through this and just kind of get a rough overview of what different things there are and kind of figure out, you know, what might work for you. What suits your section of, well, what suits your function of where you want this to happen. So you'll see this, the assertions used in kind of random places such as the, um, uh, what is it the input or setup player input function i think has it by default and that kind of stuff with it with uh, a character and all that but anyways i'm rambling on now if you like what i'm doing and you want to help support me consider going to my patreon where you can get access to different things like my videos early and different series like team deathmatch and the conquest series and all that and if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to join my discord so i'll see you in the next video